for the backpack. Since it's almost Easter, we're going to be making Resurrect Carols. All right, so we're gonna preheat the oven, and while we do, we're gonna read John 19, which will give us a little insight as to why we are doing this. What do we preheat to? A degree. While the oven is preheating, we're gonna open the dough. All right, everybody's gonna take a piece of dough, and this represents the cloth that they wrapped Jesus in. All right, everybody take a marshmallow. These represent Jesus. It's pure and white because Jesus was without sin. We're gonna wrap the marshmallow in butter, which represents the embalming oils that they put on Jesus. Now we're going to roll the marshmallow in the cinnamon and sugar mix, and this represents the spices that they put on Jesus' body to prepare him for burial. Now we're going to wrap the crescent dough all the way around the marshmallow, making sure we wrap it really tight and close up any seams. This represents how they wrap Jesus' body. Okay, we put all of our rolls in a muffin tin that we sprayed with oil, and we're going to bake according to the specified directions with our crescent roll instructions. And while we put them in the oven, which represents the tomb, we are going to read John 21 to 18. Okay, so the rolls are done and cooled. So now we're going to take them out and break them open as we eat them. Okay, what happens when you take a bite into those? Mm. This happens. How do they look? They're empty. They're empty. The marshmallow is God. So that represents Jesus coming out of the grave. Or not being in the grave. Or I don't know what it's called. That's right. This signifies that Jesus has been resurrected and the tomb is empty. So this is just a fun, quick, easy little way to celebrate Easter and have a yummy snack and learn a lesson all at the same time. We hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. We'll see you next time. Bye.